A mobile vaccine bus is rolling through the five boroughs, trying to make it a bit easier for people to get their COVID shots. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge has their story. Step on board and take a tour of the city's new roving vaccination buses, parked in Brooklyn for the next three days on 7th Avenue near 54th Street. This is our refrigerator here where we keep all the vaccine. This bus can administer up to 200 shots a day of the single dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine. I feel good. I'm glad I have the bus here and made my job so easy because I don't have a car, so it's so inconvenient to travel too far. Ilan Chi works in a restaurant nearby. This program is focused first on staff like her in the food industry. There's 500,000 New Yorkers who work in restaurants and we want to find all of them. Sean Feeney helped co-found ROAR, which stands for Relief Opportunities for All Restaurants. The buses are a joint effort between ROAR, the city, Daybreak Health and Pro Mobile Kitchen, which converted old tour buses. They were out of work. They were in a bus yard and uh, we had the idea that, you know, we can turn these buses through a little bit of design and fabrication into mobile vaccine clinics that can basically go anywhere. These buses will be here until 3 p.m. Friday, and then they'll move to Williamsburg, where they'll be performing vaccinations there over the weekend. I think it's great. It's easier for everybody and gets done faster, and I think a lot of people were not doing it because it's hard to, to get the appointment. Next, the buses will focus on vaccinating undocumented and homeless New Yorkers. This bus is really exciting. The mayor announced today the city will start off Offering walk up vaccinations for people 75 and up at 25 sites in all five boroughs. Very yes. important. Very yeah. important. Very good. They're handling good. it very well. The city will also be doubling the number of vaccine pop ups, including at two consulates, retirement homes, and 12 NYCHA locations. In Sunset Park, Brooklyn, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News.